Hey guys, this is Scruffy, and today I'm gonna be playing some Turf War, showing you some custom blaster tricks. Okay, so we're in the Kelp Dome, and looks like we're playing with Nacho! <laughs> oh, looks like we have a regular blaster too. And if you didn't know, there's not a bounce here where you jump from here to there, and it's the blaster is gonna get you a good advantage if you can get on an out of bounds. Because if it's a height one, then it will really help you. But if you know a glitch, do it, because it definitely will be good to surprise your opponent. And I'm not kidding. Oh, there's the burrito, taco, whatever, guys. <laughs> oh, nacho, <laughs> okay, yeah. And there's actually something pretty cool on kelp now. You can actually kind of just have a gun, look. Just walk along, and then look! Isn't that cool though? Like, it's actually a really good way to defend your team, because if you got your inkjet, you can really be defensive that way. Because if it's a long grate, you can easily do it. Hey, you really think there's a, it's all, this, this sub weapon is actually really good for tracking down your enemies, because it will chase your enemies, and it has a chance of killing them they get it right. Oh, blaster, blaster. Okay, yeah, carbon rollers can really get you. Oh my gosh, we killed their whole team. Well, this is time to push. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. But I wonder who ate the nacho. Well, basically defeated them. <laughs> okay, yeah. You actually will want to do this technique quite a bit on top. Because if you're walking around and help them, it can really help. Well, look at that. Hey, what you think you're doing, Nacho? Nacho cheese. <laughs> it's Nacho cheese. Well, I got his ink armor, so that's really what matters. Because the ink armor is actually really useful for the enemies or your team, whoever gets it. I knew it. Well, I was, I, at least I got turf down there and might have tricked her a little. Wow. <laughs> Let's, oh, looks like. <sighs> well, carbon roller. Or roller, whatever. Hmm, is there a sniper? I think there is a sniper. What is that guy doing with his splashdown? What are these people? Who are they? They're just using their splashdown in these places, please. Boom. And you also wanna be really sneaky like that because you're not sneaky. You can actually really easily get snuck up on. Whoa, that was cool. It was like mist of a just death. That was cool. Hmm, do they have a, oh yeah, they're climbing up that wall. You're gonna wanna ink the enemy's wall because if you don't, they're gonna climb up to you and sneak attack you. Oh, really? No. Moon! <laughs> wow! Jeez! Alright, so we're in Muscle Forge Fitness. Cool. And, you know, the double blaster technique. <laughs> it's actually cool when your team is using two blasters. And it's actually really useful. Alright. So there are actually two out of bounds here. You can jump from this, okay. <laughs> we'll go over to show you easily. Okay, so what you do is you ink this part, and then what you do is you jump up here, and then look, it gives you a high good advantage point. See, they're having a lot of trouble getting it. So that's a really good technique, you know. And also there's another out of bounds right over here. And let me tell you what I recommend for using this blaster. Special up, a whole bunch of it. But if you have full special up gear, then you should use it either way. Even though it might be hard to launch down from places, if you use the rapid blaster, that's my best technique. Because it can actually get people from uh, uh, pretty high up. Ooh, that girl's there. Hmm. What are they? What? They just run around there like that. Okay. Well, like, what was that? How did I not die? Well, I'm gonna die, but <laughs> yeah. How did I survive? 
Maybe because I was on a slant and they were on like a full platform that I wasn't actually on. Ah, uh, this carbon, die. <laughs> well, you see there, they actually have a lot of trouble if they don't need, know how to do a far slam. But if they do, what I recommend is to, uh, to go dodgy side to side like this. You should actually practice doing this a few times, but not in turn four matches, because that's gonna discipline your team, just so they can't win. Oh, and those Triceloshes, be very sneaky against those guys, because they can be really, really hard to deal with. Oh, let's get this guy. Ah, just aim. Oh, well, yeah. They're actually good distraction, distraction if you're in the sky with the inkjet, because when they're trying to kill you, then your teammate can actually get a privilege to, what the heck was that? Well, they get a privilege to actually like kill the enemy. And as you see, my special's actually going up quite quickly. And that's because I do actually have special up. Because, yeah, that is my best technique. But if you don't have it, like, for the first, I recommend using it for the whole back, at least. Or just two for the back, because that still kind of counts for whole. And as you see, I'm just teasing them, because that's what you should do. Because then they'll try to get you. But then you can do something like that and jump off the... What was that? <laughs> what was that thing? It was like glitch somehow. What was that? They inked a lot in their base. Jeez, it's like totally flat. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. See you guys next time. Stay fresh.